Oh, were you driving your second gen Chevy Volt on the highway and perhaps started to overheat? And then it was accompanied by a check engine light. Your EGR may be stuck. So I'm going to show you some telltale signs and show you a quick way on how to get back on the road. First sign is obviously the vehicle is going to be overheating, but it kind of seems to run fine. Um, you'll get a reduced propulsion message, so you definitely want to look out for that. The next thing you want to look for is you want to go ahead and check your fuse box here. And the fuse you're going to be looking for is going to be what they call the... Uh, non walk home fuse which is going to be located right here in the fuse box i'm going to zoom out a little bit and you can you can see it right there okay and so this is the this is facing towards the interior of the car the engine's here and then uh the fuse is going to be right here so if you check this fuel fuse and you pull it out which let me get a tool to do that this is just some pliers here so you should have a fuse puller so don't really worry about also, that this is going to be the fuse puller guys right here you just squeeze it pull it out and then you, you usually will have some spare fuses here but I make it a point to make sure to have a 15 in here just in case you ever need it that's the EGR is your issue the EGR fuse circuit is shared obviously with the EGR itself and then the water pump no water pump means no coolant moving in an engine no coolant moving in an engine means overheating so if this fuse is blown you're gonna need to replace that but before you replace it you want to come over here to the EGR this is the EGR right here okay and so you're gonna, there's gonna be a clip on the bottom here. I just press it up, turn it over here. So there's a, a quality assurance clip. You're gonna lift that up like so, and then you're gonna push in and pull out, okay? You, well, you're gonna disconnect this, wrap it in some electrical tape, move it out of the way. Then you're gonna come back over here, replace your fuse. And then the car, uh, <clears throat> you may need to um, manually put it into, uh, uh, mountain mode if the battery is low enough or hold so one of those two modes an engine will start and you should at least get you the way home now you can leave this unplugged indefinitely okay and uh, what will happen is basically you won't pass emissions because what that does it allows exhaust gas to recirculate back in the engine it is not critical for the engine to work in fact the engine does not want it because um, it's actually uh, emitting emissions back into the engine to help the car meet overall emissions so you remove that it'll work forever okay um, but when you need to pass emissions if you're in emissions compliant state that will need to be at least cleaned and hopefully that'll work and get it freed up or you may need to replace it and as many of you know this is very expensive but this can keep you in your car for a long time until you can either a afford the part or get the time and get home like I needed to to get it clean I hope this helps you guys thanks bye